Hey guys! In this video I'm sharing some of my favorite easy, healthy and lazy vegan meals with you that are just perfect for students, really, or everyone. They don't require a lot of time to make, so yeah, hope you enjoy! For the first one, we are having creamy nut butter oats in an almost empty peanut butter jar. For people who are obsessed with nut butter, peanut butter in particular, including me, all-time favorite breakfast. So you'll obviously need an almost empty peanut butter jar. Then you are going to add your oats while making a big mess, obviously. Then I added some cinnamon, vanilla protein powder, which is totally optional, but this brand is the best I have ever tasted. I'll link it down below if you want to give it a shot. Tastes like vanilla pudding, I swear. Then I added some water, a mix of oat and soy milk, which actually comes the closest to the real taste of milk. And yeah, then I mixed it all together. Also added some chia seeds and then I placed it in a fridge and let it sit overnight. Yeah, I had mine with an apple this morning and also a couple of nuts, some goji berries. I still have a bunch left. I got them at Thailand actually, they were super cheap. So I always top off my breakfast with a bunch of goji berries. I got a whole bag at Thailand. Yeah, that will be super creamy and delicious, so good. Don't skip the part with the sea salt. The sea salt peanut butter combo is just really good. It balances out the sweetness and gives everything a nice touch. Don't miss out on this one. I had mine with some how to get away with murder, but you could also take it to work or uni, wherever you want to. It's super portable, even on a bus or a train. Trust me, I've been there. Also, this brand of roasted peanut butter that I found at Alnatura is so good. If you live in Germany, you should totally check it out. The vanilla protein powder makes it taste like vanilla pudding or cake or something. It's really good, highly recommended. And yeah, it is so creamy. Next up, we are having some delicious pasta with an amazing sauce that literally consists of two ingredients. So super easy, again. First of all, boil your pasta. I like using lentil pasta. I even find that it tastes better than regular pasta for some reason. And also it's high in protein, which is nice. Save some for later or the next day. Also I added in some spinach. I just turned down the heat and continued cooking everything for about two more minutes. Then pour in your sauce with a couple of spices. Mix it all well together. Make it look pretty for the camera since it is so delicious. Transfer it to a bigger bowl. You could serve this just like that. But I like adding a little bit of nutritional yeast, which is optional, but also not really optional. It's like a parmesan cheese replacement, but in a much better and healthier way. Also I like adding walnuts. If you've never had walnuts on your pasta, do it now. It is life changing. So good. Oh, and don't forget cherry tomatoes. But here's how we make the actual sauce. You'll need a bunch of spices, also Italian spices, tomato paste and baked beans. I got these at the grocery store for about 80 cents, I guess. Therefore you get a couple of nice sauce servings. I don't really recommend getting the more expensive Heinz baked beans. In my opinion, they are way too sweet, so just go for a no-name product that you find on the lower shelves. Those are the best ones. Grab a spoon, transfer everything to a bigger bowl, add some salt, tomato paste, Italian spices and water, and mix well until it forms a nice 
and creamy tomatoey sauce. This even tastes good with toasted bread. I just discovered this baked bean life hack in Australia. Ever since, I never stopped buying them and profiting from this cheap deliciousness. Next time you go to the grocery store, get baked beans. It's worth it. But let's move on to the next recipe. Oh, and before I forget to mention, this one is super creamy as well. For this curry, you're going to need some pumpkin and carrots. I used about half a pumpkin and two medium-sized carrots. Also some red lentils. They will cook super quick as well. And this Aldi sauce. I got this one at Aldi's when they had those Asian weeks. But basically any Thai or curry sauce will work. Full fat coconut milk and more curry spice. Chop your veggies into bite-sized chunks and transfer them all into a bigger pot along with your lentils and curry sauce. Then rinse the jar with some water, that way you will get it all out. Add your curry spice, coconut milk. I used a whole can for this recipe as well as the whole can of Aldi sauce. Then you are going to let it cook on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes and that was it. I don't always use this Aldi pre-made sauce but this time I decided to try it with that one since we're being lazy for this video. You can serve this as you like but I topped mine with a little bit of baby spinach and Brussels sprouts, some avocado that was actually pretty cheap at the time, peanut butter, lemon juice, a sprinkle of sea salt and nutritional yeast. The coconut milk makes it so creamy and hearty. Now I'm just sharing some of my favorite savory rice cake recipes with you. I usually go for sweet snacks, everyone usually goes for sweet snacks, so why not trying something savory? Yeah, those are some inspirations. For the first rice cake, you will need some hummus and tomato paste mix, along with some avocado. This one was a little weirdo, but still really good. Not discriminating, love avocado. Then I added some paprika, Italian spices and black pepper. This tastes really interesting. Lastly, I like adding some crunch such as sunflower seeds. And here's how you can make your hummus taste super delicious. I like dipping in some roasted pumpkin chunks even beetroot tastes really good if you dip it in hummus. One of the best ways possible you can have beetroot, next to smoothies of course. What you are going to add to your plain hummus is some black pepper, a little bit of herbal salt, this one was like a parsley garlic salt mix, also some paprika and smoked paprika. You could mix it all in but for being extra lazy, I just add everything on top. And yeah, then you can dip in your veggies or spread it on the rice cake. It tastes all really good. And yeah, more so a life hack. Yep, I do dip raw beetroot in hummus and I enjoy it. For my next rice cake creation, I decided to add this tomato basil spread that tastes like pizza topping. Again, I found it al natura. Once again, we're adding our triple spice, salt, pepper, Italian herbs and paprika. You could even add a slice of vegan cheese, that is really good as well. Or just have it like that with a couple of nuts. That is it for this one. Kind of tastes like a small pizza. Trust me, again, life changing. Just add a little bit of nut butter, especially with seeds or nuts, this has a nice crunch and creaminess from the avocado. 
And that is the perfect savory snack combo. It is a million times better than potato chips, promise. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you liked the video. There's a bunch of stuff coming up for the next one. I got the paint tree stuck. Let me know in the comments what types of videos you like to see, whether that be meal prep, cookies, cakes or snack recipes. See you in the next one, bye!